So um, actually last year we bought this beautiful property here in Sweden and there was an old really damaged house here, so a typical Swedish wooden house. And um, then we had the idea that we want to um, spend our parental leave um, because we knew we were pregnant back then. Um, so we wanted to spend our parental leave here on this property. So. And so the old house needs to be gone, so we do, um, demolished Demolish. it. And then we had the idea to build a home here, a small vacation home. Um, but building a real home was just too expensive, too long, and we wanted to have something quick and we don't need that much space. So that was the idea, basically. And then we started to research tiny homes and we found Mobi House. Through Mobi House, we found out that uh, we could um, individualize a lot of our uh, wishes, actually, mm -hmm. because with the, most of the uh, prefabricated houses, we really didn't find many, many individual choices. We couldn't adapt it to, like, our small child <laughs> and the wishes we have there. Yeah, and what I really liked about Mobi House is that we could go take a look at the houses in uh, Rostock in uh, Germany. For us it was important to see uh, a tiny house in action because like in the area where we're living we're not really having the chance to actually see a tiny house mm -hmm. and in Rostock there were like six or seven houses we could look through, uh, go through, actually feel it, feel the atmosphere in them and together then with, with the team there we could actually identify what are our needs, what uh, do we want to specialize, individualize for our home That's and this was really really helpful for us. For us it was really important that we have a space where we can live, we have a fully equipped kitchen and also where Jan can work, so we also have an office space up there. <laughs> and yeah, the most important thing is we are in the middle of nature, so we wanted to have a lot of windows. So you can see window, window, everywhere windows. And um, so we are in the woods, but still in a comfortable home. We have everything you need. So we have a dishwasher, we have a, a washing, washing machine. machine with a drying function, we have a microwave and a stove, so we have everything we need in here. So we have even floor heating and... Um, the biggest change we actually had to make is you need to be very, very conscious with where you p uh, put stuff. Mm -hmm. You need to clean it up a lot of times <laughs> because <laughs> it is a tiny space and you really need, you need to be conscious with the, with the space you have. Yeah. So, uh, but the, the good thing about it is it, it really helps you to reduce clutter you have. Yeah. Like when we're coming back to our normal house, we always think, wow, we have so many items, we don't really mm. need them. Yeah, so much stuff. And then we spent two months here and we have had less stuff and we still could live normally and comfortably. And then in Berlin we were like, wow, we have a lot of stuff to really need out of it. So if you want, want to build a tiny house, pick out Sweden because it's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. um, the zoning and the building uh, reglementations are not as strict as in Germany. So when we were in Rostock, uh, my parents were with us to look at the tiny houses and they were a bit skeptical. Um, they thought, ah, oh, it's so, so small and um, for us it wouldn't be nothing. But then in summer, family, friends, also my parents visited and it was really great. So we even had like six people in here eating dinner together. We could um, make a fire outside, barbecue and stuff and everyone loved it. They were just like, oh, it's so comfy here. <laughs> One recommendation would be to really feel and see the house. Mm -hmm. go, go to Rostock or go live in a, in a tiny yeah. home for a day or two. Yeah. To just actually feel how how it is. One of the moments I really loved is sitting together with the whole family in this, in this house, whereas everyone said you never got to fit in here, it's not comfortable, and in the end it was super comfortable and we yeah. had such a nice evening together. Yeah. So for us it's super important to live in the in the nature but also have all the commodities from home. Mm -hmm.